Okay, welcome back to the channel. This is ASAS Photography and Music Production. Yeah, I have another video for you today, but before I you know, introduce the video, I would like to say thank you for those of you out there that are actually contributing and making the channel grow. I want to say a very big thank you. I love you all. All right, so let's get right into it. Today we'll be talking about how to, you know, edit your beautiful portrait, your shot, outside shot. Now, I want to first thing is just the process I'm going to take. Like I always say, I don't edit photo twice, but I can, you know, some of that time edit it. So I just want this is the first time I've seen this photo, and this is the first time I'm going to edit it. So I just want to show you the little way I usually edit my photo. But I think in this photo and uh, this tutorial, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do photo editing and also color grading. So let's get right into it. First of all, let's analyze the problem of this photo. It is an outside shot, and I guess it is too exposed from the way it is. And I think it's blur. It's blurry. Yeah, that's big. the real photo is not actually blur, blurry like this. The real photo is not actually blurry like this, and um. I just had to, you know, use this photo like that because I'm, I tried to convert the photo and it's, it's not actually converting to the way I want it. So it's actually blurry. So I'm not going to do a, a frequency separation or any other thing because I can't actually get the um, the resize and the re texture and pieces of the image. So I'm just going to do a dicting process, the uh, photo correction and the rest of. So just get right into it. First of all, I like you know, the exposure, it's an outside shot, and if you watch closely, a lot of our skin, there is a green color uh, on our skin, and bleed, bleeding of the green color on our skin, and over the places. So let's try to correct that. First of all, let's go to the exposure. How are we going to um, um, solve the exposure problem? I think we, got, we can choose exposure. Let's take three. We choose brightness uh, and we can take curves so I'm going to turn them off I'm going to take the curve layer down turn these two off and then I'm going to zoom in let's analyze the curve okay it's actually full we have full 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 so it's just it's a uniform um, histogram so let's go to exposure tool and then I'm going to let's try the brightness first of all brightness brightness open so i'm going to reduce the brightness and see if we can to this extent okay i feel this one is actually okay like this but if we go below that it's going to be dark so i don't want that i think 50 is just enough 50 is just enough i just type in minus 50 and then we are there so let's compare it with the uh, exposure. Let's turn it off and let's go to the exposure tool. We can't use this exposure because it's going to turn everything down. So I'm just going to reset it and then I'm going to use the offset first of all. So offset actually won't work also. But I think it brought out the uh, the dark part. I'm, I'm not going to use that one. I like using the gamma correction. So let's see. Let's use the gamma correction for that. So as you can see, gamma correction, don't go too far because it's going to come to too dark. I don't want too dark. I just want something that has to correct the gamma. So let's see. Let's zoom in. Okay, I think the... Like this is actually correct. No, it's too dark. Let's take it down a little, like this. So I'm gonna leave it there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I'll take it back a little bit to 50. Let's okay. Let's just leave it here. Okay, so we won't get um, get to edit and edit. So now you can see green all over our skin. 
I think we can correct that now. So let's compare the two, the uh, brightness and the gamma. So I think I like the gamma more under the exposure. And I don't like the uh, brightness. So I'm going to delete the brightness. I'm going to delete this one. So let's go. Let's use curve now. Take the curve layer up and then let's give it, let's decrease the uh, brightness with the curves. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay. So I'll leave it there. Now we are actually trying to correct the image, like I said, and then we color grade. So let's go to, um, we can use for correcting, removing the greens from our face. We can actually use uh, the color balance or we use, should we use selective color? Let's use the selective color adjustment layer and let's go to the greens. So, uh, very hard to understand this one. I think I'm going to go to the um, selective color first of all. And then this is the green. I'm going to just decrease the green and see what happens. So decreasing the green all the way up is going to make it like this. So I don't want all that. I just want a little bit of the green. So we keep decreasing the green. I like to decrease the green. Shadows decrease the green till we get what you know what we're looking for. So I'm going to close it. I'm going to zoom in on our face. We still have a little green. We have a um, yellow also. So let's try and decrease the green the way we want it. Let's go to the highlight again. I'm going to decrease the green just a little bit somewhere there. I'm going to go to the mid tone. I'm going to decrease it the more till I get a skin tone back. Shadows decrease the green the more. Okay, so we have this from this to this. So I think the um, it's actually too much. So I'm going to increase it just a little bit. Highlight just a little bit. Then mid tones just a little bit. Let's see before and after. So we have this our skin tone green bleeding the skin tone back to normal. So one thing again, I'm going to click instead of using this one so that we can edit it. I'll create another um, color balance. And then I think we have to oh, decrease, increase the blues and see what we get. One highlight, increase the blues. Uh, shadows, increase the blues a little bit. So we have that kind of money feel. Um, the reds, okay. So taking it up, it looks like this. I think we need to zoom out. Let me make this one zero and then we zoom out. Let's look at the picture from afar. So turn this one off and see what we did. Okay, just give it a money look. But I prefer the former one than this bluish look. I gave it. Let's leave the blue. Let's just try and reduce what we did. So I'm going to reduce this one nine, and then I'm going to go to the shadows six. Okay, so let's increase to seven. Let's see before and after. Okay, before looks good. Looks okay to me. Okay, so let's see what's actually causing that. Okay, I think it's the blue in the shadows blues in the shadows yeah let's put it at zero so I think we have just a little difference now so I put it at two or three okay so just a little difference all right now let's continue um, the red let's go to the highlights should we add red yeah I think we should add red just a little bit of red bring out a color go to the mid tone increase the red right about there go to the shadows increase the red no okay I think if we decrease the red on the shadows 
increasing the rate decreasing the rate it's just a natural I'm looking at a shirt decreasing the rate brings out the details of a shirt increasing the red does not so I'm just going to bring down the red introduce more cyan let's see zero first Mm. Increasing the red, decreasing the red. Oh, come on, which one looks good? I don't just want to edit what I don't feel like is not right. But let's see, let's try one more time. I don't want that feel. This is an afternoon feel. Why this is. I think we need to decrease the red. Let's leave it like that. Six. Let's go to the new tone. I'm going to increase the red here. Go to the highlight. Okay, we already increased the red. Let's decrease it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to increase it to 22. So I like it like this now. So turning it before and then after gives us a little more, you know, about our, our tone. So since we have already collected the image, let's go to selective color. And then let's see what we can do in selective color. Go to the reds. Okay, so I'm going to bring down. If we introduce more cyan, introduce more red, you know, the way it feels. I'm just going to introduce more red to make our skin pop out. Well, Okay, so let's see. Let's just do a little bit of color grading. I'm just trying out what this thing does. Reset. Go to the greens. Let's affect the greens. Okay. So let's add, let's start color grading the leaves. No, I don't want that color. Zero, yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, wow. Like I brought out the yellow on the leaves, on the green leaves, increase this one, and then we have this few natural color. Okay, I think I like it like this more. What does a black slider do? Now, amazing. Looks amazing. No, I don't want that. I want her uh, to pop out more than the, you know, the leaves. So. I think this is actually doing the trick, yeah? So let's see the yellows. No, we have yellows on our skin, so it's actually going to affect that. And of which, oh, sorry, I was adjusting the black. Actually going to affect that, I know. So I think the yellow is too saturated itself. So this should be okay just a little bit the yellow give it a nice magenta look so you know i think we need it like this just a little bit decrease the yellow cyan should we introduce cyan decrease introduce oh okay so i don't like the feel this will look uh make our skin why right? this will make the background also to make her come out, uh, uh, the the model come out. I need something that will make her pop out. So I think this is actually okay. I'm going to adjust it to this extent. Because if we do it like this, uh, the background here will not start, you know, completing with our color. So I think I like it like this to make her, to make the image pop out. So let's see. Let's go to the red channel. Which one? Should we actually go with? I'm gonna turn it back zero. Let's try the blacks. Okay, so see what that does. I think I'm gonna turn it to zero first and let's see. We don't need to brighten it up. But it's an outside shop. We can darken it or we can brighten it up. Brighten it up should lose the details. So I'm just gonna you know give it a little bit more contrast, like nine or so then let's see about the yellow so yellow brings out now zero 
Let's add in a little bit yellow to give a color magenta. No, yeah, let's increase the magenta just a little bit. So increase this one five five. Let's use five five or two cyan. Okay, increasing the cyan turns it to green. So I'm just going to put minus. Let's just use leave it at zero. So let's see. We went from this to this calm looking green color. So these are before, and now this is after. And it looks more different. The the difference we actually made. Actually, we made the um, model pop out more. So we can actually give her more. What do we use the curve for? It will bring down the image more. So let's go. Now I'm going to use another one, which is the levels. Okay, so now let's use the levels to uh, do something interesting. I think we can use the levels. Okay, let's delete the levels. I wanted to bring the uh, image. I think it's curve we we'll use for that. So just to give it a little bit more view like that. Make this one contrast. I mean, okay, that contrast is too much. I'm going to decrease the opacity because the contrast is actually too much. Decrease. 50% and that's the opacity. Okay, so what do we need to do again? Um, I think I'm going to create a stamp visible layer control sheet E. So we have this, and then I'm going to group all these effects. So we know where from here to here. Okay, so from here to here. Now let's go. Let's see what we can do to color grade. So let's use gradient gradient map. Gradient map. I don't want to use color table. Uh, okay. Let's just define our color. Yeah, I'm gonna choose this kind of uh, dark green. Or so something like that and then I'm going to choose a uh, just this type and then let's see what's actually doing to the image click on ok let's reverse and then let's see change the blending mode should we use color no and um, soft light yeah okay so Go back in there. I think that I don't want the greenish view. I want something calm. Red. Up, 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 up. Take the brightness up. Okay. Then this one. Or should we use something, you know, calm? Something like that. We do. So let's click on OK. Oh, I just use the normal and. color grading presets we have okay I didn't like that so let's delete it let's use another one uh, let's go to color lookup table and then select from the presets we have there scroll down to we have something okay four colors one let's keep on checking to we have something incredible Four color is just uh, something that actually, you know, I think I like the four colors more, but I don't want to use it. Let's go to the gradient map again. Okay. And let's go to the gradient map again. If it doesn't work, let's choose, you know, pink or purple preset that we have there. Open up, open up. Sometimes you just need to find what works, and I don't want to do things behind your back. So we have all these presets. 
I'm going to change it first of all to soft light. Uh, but it does, doesn't just fit in the image. Let's try orange. Depend on the feel you want, the kind of you know feel you just want. Sometimes you just need to leave it like that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, all right, uh, trying to find a better color grade on this. I don't want it bright. I'm just going to delete this. When the color look up, I'm going to delete it. Wait, 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 wait. Color look up table. I think I like the color look up table. I'm going to decrease the opacity just right about there. But before I use that, let's see what we can do again. Let's go to the um, color balance and then let's go to um, no, not color, selective color. Let's go to selective color, sorry. Um, oh, come on. Selective color. I got okay. Let's leave that in magenta. And let's see what we can do to magenta on our face. So we decrease it, it gives more highlight on our lips. We bring it back, it darken it. So let's increase it and bring our face up just like that to make her pop out the more. So, but not too much, just a little bit. Tier 23, where's the IS? 89, um, 100, how about 50? 50% is just okay. So 50, let's leave that 49. Then I'm going to take it back. So we have this um, color look up now. Color look up. I think the color look up is okay. So do the color grading. I'm going to take it back just a little bit. Is there no. Well, let's leave it like that. Uh, let's add some. Curves and bring it down a little bit. Should we take it? No, no. I want the picture just down. Let's add some gamma and uh, that is exposure. So you can actually go back and you know, okay. Let's bring it up a little bit. I think because we added the curves, so that's why we're actually bringing it up. So I'm gonna bring it down let me see just the 56 so that's 96 so i'm gonna leave it like that then okay so turn it off take it back let's add vibrance uh she's actually turning red she's turning red she's turning red she's turning red I don't want that red color. So, okay, looks like she's under the tree now. Then the sun is actually outside. So, uh, I'm going to add in the selective color, color balance and I will reduce the red. So, somewhere there 14 minus 10, minus 10. Enter. Let's go to the highlight. I think we still have a red on the highlight, so take it down a little bit. Minus, okay, just a little bit. Minus five, minus five, enter. Let's go to the shadows. Yeah, we have red there, so. Okay, I think I will just, no, I don't want to increase the red. If we just leave it, let's just leave it. So, so it will stop at this side, and then I'm going to merge everything with. Okay, let's create a stamp visible layer. Control Shift to turn it E. Yeah, and then I'm going to group the effect again. Group the effect. So we have the second effect. Now, let's see from here to here, before and after. And I'm going to look at this one. So before and after. So 
we're actually through with the um, photo correction so if you like the video uh, let me know in the comment section more tutorials about photo editing and uh, photography tips consigning photoshop you can also uh, add me up on instagram and on um, tiktok and the rest below is every uh, my details is in the description below so once again thank you so much for watching thank you so much for staying tuned thank you so much for your support to make the channel go uh, I promise you more videos like this will be you know coming in thank you very much okay sorry for that distraction um there are more of this kind of tutorial on my on the channel so if you are new you can actually you know subscribe don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe thank you